Hello and welcome back to my channel for yet another League One video. Now I didn't think I'd make any more League One videos, thinking probably get promoted to the beginning of the season. Yes, get it. Oh no, we, we bottled it. But this is going to be the League One team of the season. Obviously this is going to be a hotly debated video, people will disagree, people will agree. And please, 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 I just want to say before the video starts, it was hard enough to make it. Don't make it any harder in the comments by saying, oh this guy's wrong, how's he not in there? There's going to be honourable mentions, there's going to be players that have missed out but I think possibly could have got in there. I wasn't fully sure, I've not been too biased in my team selections from a Pompey view. But without further ado, we'll get straight into it. Now starting off in goal, this is going to make it look really bad for a Pompey fan, but I have put Craig McGilvray in goal. I know there were better keepers such as Lincoln's or Blackpool's goalkeepers, but I think McGilvray tip tops it for me. He's the only reason really we finished 8th. I think without him we would have been 10th, 11th earlier in the season. I don't think we would have even got to top of the league at any point. Craig McGilvray is one of the main reasons we actually managed to fight for something. At Wembley he showed that in the cup final that we did lose, but he showed it with his class performance. They battered us, he kept us in it throughout the whole game. And I just I just think Craig McGilvray deserves his spot in here. And fair enough to the other two keepers that have missed it. I think one of them got 21 clean sheets all season. But Craig McGilvray for me, he edges it. Now, all of the stats will be on screen from these players because I haven't memorised them. Probably should have, but I'm looking at the team and I can't look at the team and their stats. Although I am going to try and get Fottenham up as well while I do this. But the first player, we're going to go from left back to right back. We're going to go in order. And my first player on this list is Callum Elder. Now, Callum Elder, he's had a very good season, the whole left back. He's chipped in with one goal this season, nine assists, but an average rating of 7.26 seats him into that position fairly easily as well. I think he's a, he's a 26-year-old centre-back. He's English. Where's the number three for Hull? This season, ten, been involved in 10 goals from left-back, yes, but he's also been solid defensively. You know, 7.26 rate on an average a match doesn't just happen, does it? it that That is evidently shown, and it, it it's evidently something good that he's... Done for Hull, that they've got promoted. He's their main fullback. They're in, they're now in the uh, championship as champions as well. So I think Elder gets this one. I don't think anyone else really comes close. The first centre back, then my left sided centre back is Robert Atkinson from Oxford, averaging seven point two two rating a game, thirty nine goals this uh, thirty nine goals. Be mental for a centre back. Thirty nine games this season with one goal, no assists, but he's a solid centre half. Twenty two years of age as well. He's a very good centre-back, 39 games at 22, 7.22 rating. How, uh, well, what else could you want him to do? Um, but, we, we, you know, people will say, oh, how come you've put an Oxford player in here over people like Lewis Montsma? Because, unfortunately, Lewis Montsma isn't going to get in at all because my other centre-back is Daniel Ballard. Now, Ballard is 21 years of age, plays for Blackpool on loan from the Gunners of Arsenal. 7.16 average rating, two goals and no assists in 25 League One games. And I'm going to have a look at when those games have come. They've come recently. You know, he's played f six, seven, eight, nine out of the last 10 games for full 90 minutes. On loan from Arsenal, he joined in October 2020, so a bit later. He's not played for the whole season, but I think for his age and, and for who he kind of is, I think he's deserved to be in this team. I don't, I don't you know, people will probably say, once again, I've mentioned it, why haven't you put in people such as Montsma, who plays for Lincoln, class centre-back, uh, none of Pompey centre-backs because they've been shocking all season. But there's there's options as well. But I think Ballard, you know, that, that Blackpool side have clearly done something right. People will probably also say, why not a whole centre-back, a Peter centre-back? I personally just don't think they'd get there for me. But, you know, for your teams, they definitely could. But for me, not going to get it. The right-back then, he's not actually played right-back often this season. But I'm going to put him there anyway. It's Luke O'Neill. Now, Luke O'Neill is a class player. Pompey could get him for a free this summer if they wanted to. Uh, but he, the reason I'm putting him here isn't because of his two goals and no assists all season, 38 games played. It's because he's covered. He's played right mid, centre mid, centre back, right back, left back of this season. And he's done well in all of them. I think Luke O'Neill, without a shadow of a doubt, has been Sunderland's, one of Sunderland's best players. Not the best player, but there's, there's players above him. But he's been one of Sunderland's best players. He's covered, if anything... Luke O'Neill was one of the key reasons they kept their run going. He managed to step in different... And some of the fans, if you are watching, do let me know down below who you think could have got in from your team. And any League One fans, let me know who you think your team deserves to have in this list. But I think Luke O'Neill has been class. He's covered positions, 
26 year old, yes he's not got assists or goals, but he's primarily played as a centre back this season, which is not his position. I think he came from Wickham as a CDM, he got shifted to right back, he then was at centre back, then left back, then that's the only reason he's really got in here for me. Because he's been class, you know. How can you say he hasn't? But, but you know, that's our back four done. I'm hoping everyone agrees with me on that. I hope you haven't disagreed. But we're going to move on to our two central midfielders. I'm doing a 4 4 2 because that gives me more positions. You know, two centre backs, two full backs, a keeper, two centre mids, two wingers, and two strikers. There's two of every position, pretty much. My first centre mid, though, is going to be another whole player, George Honeyman. Now, the ex Sunderland player, 42 games this season, four goals. 13 assists, an average rating of 7.39. He's got his market value apparently is 1.7 million, but I think that'd be a that'd be a steal if he got in for that. But he's covered at CDM, centre mid, and Cam this season. Also, seeing himself on the wing a little bit. But I think George Honeyman has had a very good season. Those 13 assists have helped hold to the title. Hull need him, that creative man. George Honeyman's come in and done that. He's got a bit of funny hairdo now, but you know, that's evidently not stopped him. He moved to the Championship from Sunderland in hope of Championship football and consistency. They got relegated in his first season, but they're straight back up there and he's back in the championship now. And I'm guessing he's hoping Sunderland do as well, because he is a local lad, as, as far as I'm aware. Don't quote me on that. He might actually be a Londoner or something. But but I think I think he was from um, Sunderland. Do do let me know if I'm, I've got that badly wrong. But anyway, we'll move on to our next player. It's, it's, it's the only player from this team in this list. And I feel bad for only putting one in. That's George Grant of Lincoln City. Now, I really do feel bad for not putting more Lincoln players in, but I think their team hasn't had many outstanding performers. It's had more of a team spirit. They've kept going with 11 players that believe and they achieve. It's not been a case of, oh yeah, we've got a striker that scores 50 goals, defence is solid with each individual defender. They're just a unit. George Grant, though, has been their standout performer by far. Uh, 36 games for the 26-year-old this season with 13 goals and 8 assists. I know a lot of his goals have come from the spot, but still, 8 assists, 13 goals for Lincoln City. He's carried them into those playoffs and, and done it well. They were top of the league at a point, second in the league. I thought they'd be able to do it again. Just about missed out into, I think, 4th or 5th, 4th? 4th, I think 4th. I don't, I don't know. I think it was anyway, but he's a central midfielder. Can also play on the wing, but 7.6, the average rating speaks for itself. You know, he's had a very, very good season. Not just goals, not just assists, but being that man as well. Winning penalties, winning decisions, keeping Lincoln up there. I think he was the captain for a bit. I, I don't know. Once again, don't quote me on some of this stuff because I'm not the man to ask. I think a lot of the time I have got it wrong. But, but you know, he's been a class performer. Well, the right wing now, we'll do the left wing afterwards, or the right mid slash right winger. I don't think you can look further than this man as a right winger this season. That is, of course, Malik Wilkes. 19 goals, 8 assists this season for the 22-year-old. Still young, 44 games. He can also play on the left, but I've put him on the right for this. How can you go past the player that scored 19 goals and assisted 8? 27 goal involvements from the wing for the champions. He's tearing teams to shreds. And I think he'll continue doing that in the championship. And fair play to him. It's not easy, uh, but he's doing it. But uh, Malik Wilkes, I think, is another one that I can't just go, oh, oh, it's Malik Wilkes. Nah, he can't go in there. Um, but, but Malik Wilkes is my right winger in this team. Uh, the next player, then, uh, Peter fans, I think, will be a bit... Well, they'll probably be questioning why I've put him in here. I'm searching up his stats again so I can get this right. He's a Scotsman by the name of Soriki Dembele. Now your fans are probably going, hold on a minute, where's Joe Ward? I think that's his name. Joe Ward would have got in here for me, but I think Dembele is just that little bit better. Dembele's got better stats anyway. We'll compare them on screen now, they'll be either side of me. But Soriki Dembele, 11 goals, 10 assists this season, average rating of 7.06, 42 games. Yes, he had in a transfer request at some point, but he tears teams to shreds. The 24-year-old, he's, he's been known for his skills. He's been known for that for a long time. He's one of the players I've looked out for when we play Peterborough. And I, and I think he'll continue doing that at the Championship. I don't think anything can stop him. You know, Siriki Dembele is a, is a class player. And it goes without a shadow of a doubt of saying that he deserves a place in the team of the year or the season. Uh, the the honourable mentions then are, of course, Joe Ward for Peterborough. Very, very, very good player. There's a couple in each position that I've missed. Max Powers, I know a couple of good games, but I don't think he deserves to get in there. 
I'm just trying to think as well at right back. You could have had Louis Coyle. He's had a good season. One of the best rated right backs, but just not got the minutes for me. Also, Nathan Thompson at the back. He's missed out on a spot because I just simply think there's other players better than him. But then the two strikers. The two strikers. The two strikers. I think this is one of the most obvious picks you'll ever get for two strikers in League One. The first one, he's English. He's 28 years of age. And he scores the goals for the Black Cats. Charlie Wake. 25 goals, 3 assists this season. Most of them goals from open play. I think all of them from open play, actually. Primarily a centre forward, but can play by himself up top as well. 43 games, 25 goals. Ridiculous turnout from him. He, the ex-Bradford striker never seemed like he was going to be good. You know, last season, the fans are going, can we get a new striker, please? Charlie Wake's come into his own this season with Lee Johnson. You, I mean... <laughs> Let's look, at, let's look at his career stats, actually, first. So, Bradford, 62 games, 23 goals. Sunderland, 112 games, 41 goals. So, 25 of his 41 goals in total have been scored just in this season. And if we look at his stats, so that's 25 goals in League One, obviously. There have been goals coming other things. The EFL trophy, he scored three in. Um, but League One seasons, then. So, this season, 25 goals. The three seasons before that, five goals, four goals, 15 goals. So, the 15 goals... Fair enough, that's good, but I think that came for Bradford. Four goals in five, so he's got nine goals in League One for Sunderland before this campaign. Let's just check that I am right in saying that. Yeah, he's got nine goals in League One for Sunderland before he came into this campaign. He's almost tripled that. I think he has tripled that. Let's, have, let's do the maths here. 9, 18, 27. So, yeah, he, he, in this season, he's done triple that pretty much. Fair play to him, that's all I can say. Now, the next player, he plays in blue. I don't think he's posh himself, but he plays for the posh. That is, of course, the man himself, Johnson Clark Harris, the ex-Gashead, the ex-Peterborough, the ex-Peterborough, the ex-Bristol Rovers man, scoring 31 goals this season in 45 games. Three assists for him, 26 years of age, an average rating of 7.18. When don't you see it? Peter Riff scored. Dad, who scored? Clark Harris. <laughs> you know, you watch our streams from League One and it'll always be, Dad, who scored for Peter Riff? Oh, Clark Harris. There would, wouldn't be a game where he doesn't score. And I think without Clark Harris, they wouldn't have got promoted. And I think fans would agree with me here. Even their fans would probably say, yeah, to be fair, he probably wouldn't have. Um, we'll do one more mentions in a minute, but the left-footed striker, he came in from Bristol Rovers off the back of a couple of good seasons. 52 games for them, 27 goals. 49 games for the posh, 33 goals. Only six, so 16 more games and he's got goals. That's ridiculous. So fair play to him. I mean, what, what else can I say? It's season before this one then. 45 goals this season, 24 goals last season, 32 goals the season before that in League One. He is some player. And Peterborough needed someone to replace Ivan Tony. Johnson Clark Harris has filled that void. We'll talk about some other strikers then. Just a couple that could have got in ahead of him. Well, ahead of both of them, really. Luke Jeffcott is not the man I'm going to say. Instead, I don't know why I keep saying Luke Jeffcott. I don't, I don't, I don't mean him. I mean Joe Piggott. Joe Piggott is the man I mean. Scoring a ridiculous amount of goals for Wimbledon. I think it's 19 goals for the season, something like that, for Wimbledon. Not with the support he could have got. You whack him in a team like Sunderland, he'll score you 30 goals a season. Hoping Pompey can get that one across the board. Dion Charles as well. Both of those two drivers are actually out of contract in the summer, Dion Charles and... Oh, I've forgotten his name again. Why do I do YouTube? I just lose my everything. I meet the Wimbledon striker Joe Pickett and Dion Charles. Both of them out of contract in the summer. Dion Charles has won 19 goals in League One this season. Who wouldn't snap him up on a free? But thank you for watching this video. I admit I have done this a bit sillyly and I keep forgetting names and forgetting stats. And I keep looking down at the iPad. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe down below, whether you're a new fan. Let me know who you support. Let me know what your team of the season would have been. And don't forget to like the video. 15 likes, please.